Hey everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist, and today we got some packages to open. Alright, so I went ahead and unpacked everything. Uh, so we're going to go over what all came in the shipment. And first, I see two new drawers. Um, I don't know which... Uh, butterflies are going to go in here yet. Uh, I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, got pins. Uh, size zero pins. This is what I use for my smaller stuff. Um, so now with the next few orders, I'll slowly accumulate and restock pins and stuff. Um, I also get uh, size, my size 2 pins, my large pins for everything else that I collect. I get a lot of that, those pins from the museum. They actually give me stuff. Um, so I got a bag of foam strips. Um, these are what I cut into like little, uh, little foam blocks um, for double mounting with the Minuten pins. So I got this so I can start actually getting all my flies that are mounted on the Minutens. I can get those mounted and get the labels on them and get those all good to go. And I think this is a, ba a bag of 1,000 inches worth. Something like that. It should get, hopefully, It'll get me some good way in with the mountain to, mountain of flies. Um, I got a field box with uh, the the same size mountain mounting boards as uh, these ones. So I got three more of those. And uh, these kind of, these next, <laughs> I wasn't really expecting this at all. Um, so I got these, which is the field box. But BioQuip also has um, another uh, category that's so the field bots and the stuff is under, like if you go to BioQuip, it's in the field collecting category. Um, but I went to the mounting category and got a couple of boards as well. And this is a, one of the larger size mounting. Should I just see the difference there? But... I didn't realize <laughs> how freaking massive this is. So that's a normal. Then this one is ginormous. So it came. It comes with uh, two per package. But uh. This is going to be what I'm going to be using for mounting swallowtails and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't, I didn't think it'd be that long because, wow. So I might get a couple ones of like uh, this, this size strip as well in this category and I'll have to double check and see if they're it, it's gonna be as long, but that that's that's kind of crazy. And if it is, I'm gonna get a few of them because that way I can it'll make it make it make uh make mounting go a little bit easier, I think. For the most part at least. But yeah, so kinda rambled on there. 
Uh, so that's uh, new equipment that just came in. And I guess now we'll just start working on some insects. All right, so went back to the museum and uh, did work on these green sweat bees and I finally got them all to species level and they are now in their uh, set of their drawer. So we have just uh, or it won't, oh there we go. You see just how awesome and beautiful these bees are. But I also went and we allowed through a couple drawers of stuff too, so we'll be ending the video with that. Uh, but yeah, so just making some more progress. These will be filled up with some more bees eventually. Um, some other updates here. I got my darkling beetles, their labels done. I got the labels here for some stink bugs. I already been doing some labeling there. See, I finished some. So, everything's moving along. I also got labels done for another drawer for some butterflies that will be in the next video that I that I'll put up. Uh, but yeah. So. Really glad with how everything's uh, turning out. Uh, so, if you enjoy the, uh, the drawers of butterflies I go through next. All right, everyone. So, it is February 1st, end of January, literally, end of January was yesterday. And it is in the 60s right now for this weekend. So, went outside to see what I can find, and voila. Of course, I won't focus on it, but I got a beetle. And this beetle is the first insect that I've collected in the year 2020, and I guess officially starts the 2020 collecting season uh, so I'm gonna walk around and see if I can find anything uh, see if I can find anything more all right so found something if you see right there we got a little grasshopper nymph And blends in pretty well with the dead grass and everything. But this is, I've seen a couple other different nymphs of a different species hopping around. But I always lose them. This one is definitely the largest. So, it's cool. It's really nice to go outside and look for insects again. It's been a long few months. But, uh, I'll keep looking around and I'll show you guys if I find anything more. Alright, so back at the museum, doing some ID stuff. And... As the past couple times I visit a museum, we're going to look through a couple drawers. Uh, so, this drawer on up, we're going to look at these. These are some, some tropical 
Uh, tropical species. And hopefully I can show them without too much of a glare. Here's some leaf wings here. A beautiful red coloration. I like the green blue on this species. Especially there, it can it really pops out on that specimen. These are pretty beautiful. And all these are uh, tropical, uh, neotropical uh, nymphality, brushfoot butterflies. And here we have a couple morphos. Got a white morpho there. Ooh, I really like that one. That one's really cool. Beautiful as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, these are a couple of hodgepodge stuff. Some more right here. Now that's really cool. If it zooms in. Uh, well you can kind of see it there. You see on that butterfly? Those uh, brush patches right there? I believe those are uh, mating for mating light like, scent patches. I believe at least. If anyone knows anything more, just tell me. But pretty cool. Now that is a shiny blue. It always amazes me how metallic morpho the blue morphos are. It's absolutely ridiculous. And you can just see it right there, just the difference. How shiny it is. I don't think one could ever tire of seeing blue morphos. This drawer is intense. This is my favorite morpho species, subspecies. I love the white medicine with the super metallic blue. It's crazy. But some more. This, that one's super, super metallic as well. Absolutely ridiculous.
but I think that's gonna be yeah the rest of these are just uh, kind of boring looking brush foots but I think that's a good way to end this video so if you enjoyed it comment like subscribe and I'll see you guys next time